Are you serious? Folks, as we're reviewing some of the highlights from the presidential debate last night, again, let me remind you, it's not really a political thing that concern me, because I'm not political. I look at everything from the prism of a biblical standpoint, and how does it relate to us as a nation? When we talk about a nation, you talk about a country that has to have an economic plan you cannot have 23 million Americans standing in the unemployment line with 80% of them already drawn out their 99 weeks. You cannot have a nation that when it graduates its college grads, 50% of them by the next fall still don't even have a job or no hopes of one while school loans continue to pile up and the interest keeps to adding. You cannot have a nation that's over $16 trillion in debt, and nobody from either side of the aisle can give us a plan on how to reduce that debt. We cannot have a nation that no longer has the most strongest currency in the world, but instead it's getting so weak that the worries are, will our economy, will our currency even survive in this volatile market? But what we can't have is weak leadership. And these two gentlemen went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow to blow, trying to get, gain an advantage on why they should lead this nation for the next four years. In this next videos, couple of videos you're going to see, they're going to talk about national security. And what does that mean? They're going to talk about the Libya uh, incident with the U.S. consulate. Why did it burn to the ground? Why was there such a delay on what caused it? Have we even still received the facts? And for the first time since 1979, we had a United Nation ambassador murdered. At the same time, we're also going to take a look at Fast and Furious, gun control. How does that relate to the border uh, and our protecting of our own borders? Where are we at? There's so much we could talk about. But from my perspective, where are we? When we look at these two gentlemen, what will they bring to the table from a spiritual standpoint? Do we know what their direction is? Are they listening to the right voices? Are there counsel they're getting? The Bible says there's a multitude of safeties. There's safety in a multitude of counselors. Those counselors, though, have to be of the Lord, have to be some type of baseline, bar, set, brings hope. Pray for America. Pray for President Barack Obama that he makes the right decisions in the time he still has left as president. And if he is reelected, that the next four years he's able to stop and harness and gather some of the great spiritual minds of America to help shape his, the future of this country, not only from militarily, economically, but socially and spiritually. Pray for Governor Mitt Romney. If he should win the presidency, will he be able to turn around the economy? Is his experience as a businessman truly can be adaptable within the confines of leading a nation? Does he have the fiber, the fortitude to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with such uh, uh, con world conflicts that's going on? North Korea, South Korea at each other, China, Japan, uh, Mohammed Mercy, Egypt, murdering of the Coptic Christians, the entire Arab Spring, and as Romney likes to say, has become a dark winter. What about Mohammed Mercy? What about Ahmadullahjad in Iran and the supreme uh, Islamic leader, the Ayatollah Khomeini, and their constant push for a nuclear weapon? And what about Israel? Will he stand with Israel? Do we know where we're at now? This next couple of videos, I want you to watch more highlights of the debate, the second debate of the presidency for the United States of America.